Kareven and Ruth. Buenas noches, teacher. Hi, ¿qué tal? Por aquí mire cenando. Ah, buen provecho. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome. So, how was your day? Very good. Very good. Ah, Very good. Nice. nice. Day off. Ah, you got a day off? You didn't work today? I mean, that's excellent. That is excellent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why you're like, you look, you look so happy. Uh, let's see, besides you, who else is in here? Hi, Eric. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Como son? Good, and you? So tired. Tired? Yeah. Sí, un día algo movido. <laughs> really? That is nice. That is nice. La semana, la semana va a ser algo pesada. Así que, ahí le... Good evening, Jorge. Uh -huh. El jueves creo que voy a andar por el lejano orientes. <laughs> really? Really, probably. Eh, eh, tengo que ir a San Michael, creo. Pero no, depende de, de que me entre un equipo el miércoles. Uh. Así ajá. que, ahí le aviso. Ajá, ajá. No te viaje, niño. Ya, <ríe> yeah, mi es una trip. Uh, Igual, estar, pero la otra es... semana ya salgo también. <laughs> bueno. That is nice. That's really nice. Y no sé si voy a continuar con las clases de inglés. Oh, why? No sé, todavía. Eh, hay demasiadas cosas que hacer en la universidad. Ah, trabajo, <coughs> inglés. Eh, estamos con proyectos. Ah, o sea, la cabeza no da para todo. <laughs> ajá, ajá. But you're gonna finish. Uh, you're going to finish this 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 module, right? This week. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think in the another level is starting the maybe twenty twenty one the in October or November. Of October. Aha, okay. uh -huh, probably, yeah. probably. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe I uh, of of the one one project. Uh, again, I give the change the the class again. <laughs> no, I mean that, that might be cool. Might mm -hmm. be cool then. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. So yeah, I mean you got a lot of uh, a lot of things to do then. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty nice. So let's see who else is in here. Uh, Ed is getting into it. Uh, hi, Jonathan. How's everything? How's everything at uh, work? I, Fine. I, I do have to work. <laughs> you don't feel that much pressure today. Uh, what uh, about what about your 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 coworkers? Are they good? Uh, are they well now? Did they uh, recover from from COVID? No, no, no. Uh, I I have um, the day free or free day. <clears throat> ah, really? That's nice. So, That's um, nice. But I go I go I go to clinic. Uh huh. This the cuna. My son. Uh huh. Oh. Um, Ajá, a mediodía, salir a comer. Y esto. Ajá, ajá. No, I mean, pretty cool day then. I mean, you didn't have to, 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 yeah, I mean, to move a lot for a hard work. Yeah, I mean, I went to, 
I went to, to take the second shot today and uh, I have like a, a horrible, horrible, horrible headache. <laughs> For real, for real. I, I mean, I, I, I feel that my, my mind and my, my head is going to blow up. And I, I don't know why. I mean, the first one, it was okay. It was good. I mean, I didn't feel anything. But now with this one, with the second one, I have a headache. I feel sleepy. For real, I, I got a lot of symptoms. In the second, second vaccine? Yeah, you I mean the, the the second shot. Yeah, the second one. is not good. Yeah, I mean I'm not feeling that good. Besides I mean, that, I, ha I had to walk for for like like for two kilometers today because uh, uh one of the tires of my car was flat, so I had to fix it uh, and I had to walk a lot. Eh, yeah, I mean it's, I when I got home in here, I was like sleepy and I was like for real, and I'm. I'm just because I, I was I was drinking coffee, I, I feel kind of okay. Teacher. Uh-huh. No, no fue la vacuna de COVID. Uh -huh. fue vacu no fue vacuna de COVID, fue la vacuna a mi hijo. Uh, pero no sé, una vacuna que le pone a pedir a través pues, de cuestiones de recién nacido. Ah, yeah, I mean, uh -huh. that one, that, that one is, is, is for a baby, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean... No, I, I, I was talking about me. <laughs> but I had the second one today and I feel horrible. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, how many months has, does uh, your baby have, Jonathan? It's like one month, right? Or, or two? Three. Three months now? Hey, man, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, time flies. Time flies. Like in few in few months? He will be like 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 roof baby. Just look at that. How old is she, how old is uh, is the baby uh, Ruth? Hello, the series. <laughs> how old is the baby? No. ¿Cuántos cuántos meses tiene? Ah, uh, Ah, fourteen. Hmm? Yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Right. Sí, pero eso que dicen que las niñas son es mentira. Yeah, kids are like that. They are always uh, uh, doing things. <laughs> But anyways, so let's let's see if we can start people because we got a, a some bunch of information to share today. So just give me a second. I'm going to start with the attendance list. So let's see. Very few people are getting connected today. Um, Anna Claribel it is not here, right? Anna Maria. No, Carlos Ademir. No, she's, she's not here. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Alejandra. Fatima has not Yulmar Cruz. Ah, Yulmar is not here yet. Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay. Carla Benacer. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Margot Hernandez. Uh, she's not here. Maritza Alcira. Ay, Maritza is not here. That's weird. Uh, Natalie Vanessa, Neither Natalie, Romeo Alexis, he's not here. Rosa del Carmen, present. Ah, okay. Good. Ruth Joanna, present. Okay. Uh, Sara Carolina, Sara is not here. Stephanie Lisette, present. 
Oh, is that's a miracle. Hi, Stephanie. You're very early today. So let's see. Vanessa Odette. No, she's not here. William Alberto. Okay, he's not here. Roxana Yesenia. Roxana, are you there? Ah, ah, okay, okay, good. Nubia Zulema. I know, yeah, it's not here. Jennifer Noemi. Hmm. Okay, it is not here yet. And the last one we got Viana Gabriela. That it is not here. All right. So let's see, let's uh, start people. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with the, the class of today. And uh, if you remember, we started the, this week, all right, the last week, this past uh, Friday, okay, with a very kind of interesting topic. It was that it was like related to accountant. Now, what do we remember from that topic, people? What can you tell me from that topic? Or what is like what are like the things that you remember from from last topic? Let's start with that in order to move on with the new topic that we got for today. So what do we remember from last topic? I want one volunteer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody wants to talk, huh? Okay, I will make you talk. Ah, uh, Ever, give me a number from one to five. One, num one number for one, two? two? To five. To five, two? All right, number two? Okay, let's number see. Two. All right, let's see. Which one appears on my screen? Okay, Eric, number one. And then, ah, Carla. All right, Carla. You're number two, Carla, on my screen. <laughs> All right, Carla, what do we remember from last class? Let's yeah. start with that. And the topic, um, accounting vocabulary. Uh -huh. It was related to accounting. Okay, what else do you remember? Yeah. What, what were we doing in the class? The uh, check bonuses. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. We were uh, what the vocabulary we were discussing. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Money. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh huh. What else? Use the ATM. Uh mm Cashing -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. a check. Cashing a check. Okay. What else? <laughs> Paying, uh, paying fee, fees. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Carla. What else were we doing? Uh, let me see. To the ones who got the cameras off. Rosa, what do? What else do you remember from last class? ¿Qué más estuvimos viendo, Rosa? Aparte de lo que mencionó Carla. Rosa. Good evening. Good evening, Marisa. The new vocabulary. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. What else? And examples a check bonus, transfer money, uh -huh. using the ATM. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, okay, pretty cool. Pretty and cool. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. From here, from the ones who are here. Who were missing in, in, in the practice that we that we had on Friday? ¿Quién faltó de la práctica uh, que teníamos el, el viernes que no terminamos? Who's in here that, that has not participated in that practice? The conversation, teacher. Yeah, I mean, the one that we didn't finish. Uh, que llegamos hasta el grupo número tres, creo. Ajá, ajá. Did you participate, Maritza? 
No. No, you I didn't, right? Yo estaba en el grupo seis. Okay. Uh, who were your classmates? The ones who you practiced with? Um, I don't uh -huh. remember the names. Oh my God. Uh, all right. The ones who were with Maritza, are you here? Wasn't it with Ever, uh, Maritza? No. No? Okay. Let me see. I mean, the thing is that these people got the cameras off. Group, Turn on your cameras, um, people. Uh huh. The group, the group six. Group number six. Uh huh. But I, don't, I exactly don't remember the ones. Uh, Fatima, who are you practicing uh, in that uh, activity with? With uh, Jonathan and Jennifer. Ah, yeah, I mean, now I remember. Uh, but did you did you participate, Fatima? Yes. Yeah, right. With because Jonathan. Jenny, yeah, just with Jennifer, Jonathan. No. Because Jennifer left, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Uh, Stephanie, did you participate that time? Mm, no. <laughs> Who were you with? Gilmar, creo, y. Who else? Mm -hmm. No sé, otra era una chica, pero no me acuerdo quién era. Creo que Ruth. Ah, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. ¿Es that true, Ruth? Uh, si era el que está con mi compañero, era el que está con un aire acondicionado, sí. Gilma. Ya, mi hizo Denis Gilma. Ah, pues sí. <laughs> Okay, qué buena referencia, like what a good reference. Okay, okay, cool. So at least you're with uh, with Stephanie here, okay? Pretty cool. Uh, how about you, Eric? Now, I, I remember that you were dying by that time, Eric. <laughs> Eric estaba más, estaba más del otro lado que de este lado. <laughs> eh, realmente no, pero sí participó mal. Uh, with ever and... Um, eh, se me olvidó el nombre de la comadre de Stephanie. Ah, men, uh, uh, Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, vaya, Natalie. Yeah, men, Natalie, la comadre. <laughs> ok. <laughs> All right, there you go, Jorge. Do you participate? No, yet. Not yet, right? Uh, who are you working with? Um, I remember working to. Two, gar two girls, maybe. I don't know, Roxana, maybe. Another. Roxana. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Roxana. Another... Oh. What was the other one? No recuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Let me see. Yo, yo creo que ya se Ajá. But you were with Roxana. Okay. Rosa, who were you practicing with? Si no estoy mal, con Jorge, creo, y Rosana. Ah, ahí está la que me había perdido. Ay, qué barbaridad, chica. And you were supposed to be practicing. Jesus Christ. Ok, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean. Jesus. Ok, so let's do something. For the people who hasn't showed up, let's 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 help each other in here. Uh, I'm going to project the presentation. Just give me a second, because we are going to continue with that. Just give me a second. Give me a second. All right, this is the one. Okay, I'm going to project the presentation that we're gonna have for today. Uh, give me a second and in here, I got that specific presentation that we are going to be working on. There you go, can you see my screen? I'm going to ask uh, more often because I don't yes. want to, I don't want to happen like, like, you know, like on Friday. <laughs> And that I couldn't see, and uh, you couldn't see when I was when I was uh, 
showing in there. All right, let's start with this. Just copy the, the topic that we have for today's video conference, all right? Let's remember this is the video conference number 17. And the topic is how to use such and such. Okay, that is the topic for tonight. So how to use so and such. That's what we got for tonight. Okay, let's continue. In here, we got a short class agenda. Let's remember, we're gonna start with the review from the previous class. What are we going to do in that part? Let's remember the, the small conversation that we have. That's what we're going to have. Then we're going to work on the manual. Uh, we're going to fix some things that we get from, from the previous class. Then we are going to start uh, the topic, how to use so and such. Okay. Right after that, we're going to, you know, like talk about some explanations in there, how to use so and such, of course. Then we're going to work in the manual and some exercises and, and you know, like we are going to provide examples related to the topic. Okay. As I told you, we're going to check the exercises in there. Okay. So that's pretty much what we have, but let's start with this. Okay. Let's start with the, the uses. And oh, no, actually, this is the conversation. Give me a second. So since, the, since the, we got not everybody in here, let's do something, okay? So Jorge, help me out practicing just with one person in this case. And let's do it with, uh, with Rosa, right? I'm gonna put Roxana to work with another person, right, Jorge? All right. Let's, let's do it with Roxana, uh, with Rosa, and okay. let Roxana to work with another one. All right, just to help out. There you go, people. So you can start whatever you want. Hello, Rosa. Hola. I practice the conversation. Okay, uh, come here. May okay. I help you with something? I could like you transfer some money. Where would you like to transfer money from? Taking from my saving account. Where would you like the money transfer? I want it transferred into my check account. How much would you like to transfer? I could, I would like to transfer two hundred dollars. Will that be all that? All that's, today. Uh, that is for today. Thank you, Roxanne. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge, and thank you, Rosa. You did it excellent. Let's see who's missing. Hmm. Maritza, uh, who, who told uh, who you tell that you were practicing with? Is one of your classmates in here? Sorry, teacher. Ah, you 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 said that you don't remember who were you practicing with, right? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, let's do it with Roxana. Okay. okay, just just to I... practice. Roxana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Roxana, you're going to practice with Maritza because she doesn't remember who was she, who she practicing with. Okay. Okay, I start. Go. May I help you with? May I help you something? I would like to transfer some money. Where would you like to transfer money from? Take in from my saving account. Saving. Uh -huh. Where would you like to money transfer it? I want to transfer it in, in my checking account. How much would you like to transfer? I would like to transfer uh, $200. Will that be all today? That is for today. Thank you. Okay, very good. 
Very good. So thank you, Marisa, and thank you, Roxana. You did it excellent. Huh. Let's see. Who is missing? I mean, here, here it is, the one with the air conditioner behind, right? Hi, Hilmar. Hi, teacher. Estaba preguntándole a una de sus compañeras que si con quién había trabajado y me dice, ah, con alguien que tiene el aire acondicionado detrás. <laughs> ah, definitely was your, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it was Ruth. Hey, Ruth, let's practice with Hilmar. Okay. All right. You can start when you want. Yo soy, ah. Better. Okay. May I help you with some time? I would like to transfer some money. Where would you like to transfer money from? Again, from my saving account. Where would you like the money transfer? I want it transferred into my checking account. How much would you like to transfer? I would like to transfer 200. Will that be all today? That is for today. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Helmer, and thank you, Ruth. There you go. You did it excellent. Uh, Besides you both, who else were you practicing with? Hilmar? What? Who else was practicing with you? Con quien más? Con Stephanie? Stephanie, Stephanie. Ah, ya, yeah, man, Stephanie Rutia. Okay. Qué mala onda. Yo fui la que le dije que con él. <laughs> no, I don't remember for real. I got, I got, my mind is slipping. Uh, let's see. But uh, Stephanie, there is one, another person that is missing that, let me see, let me see who is, who is this person that doesn't have a group. Okay, Eric has already participated with Ever, or Jorge, you, you said, right, that you, you participated already. Uh, Jonathan, you participated already, right? Do you participate, Jonathan? Uh, All right. No, okay. If you have it, uh, Mrs. Rutia, help me out with Jonathan. Okay. Uh, may I help you with something? I would like to transfer some money. Where would you like to transfer money from? Where would you like the the money transfer? I want the transfer into my checking account. How much would you like to transfer? I would like to transfer two hundred dollars. Uh, will that be all today? That is Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Stephanie, and thank you, Jonathan. You okay. Good? Excellent. Let's see who else is missing. Who told me that is missing? All right. I just need one volunteer to help me out with Margot. Hi, Margot. Make it. Yeah, I mean, uh, she was Hi, not, she was very quiet. All right, Margot. We are practicing a conversation. Okay, we are practicing okay. a conversation. And Hilmar offer uh, himself to, to practice with you the conversation, okay? Okay. All right, Margot, you are going to be A and Hilmar is going to be B, okay? Okay. All right, let's start. My, my, my I help you why so many things. Okay. I would like to transfer some money. What if? Where, where, home? Do you like to transfer money from? Again, from my saving account. What would would you like money transfer? 
I want it transferred into my checking account. How much would you like to transfer? I would like to transfer 200. Would that be all today? That is for today. Thank you. Now, okay, perfect. Thank you, Margot, and thank you, Hilmar, for 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 uh, helping me out in that in that in that. Oh, okay, uh, very good people. So I think there are no more people uh, um, on the practice. So let's move on to the topic that we got for today. So we got two very important words to discuss uh, tonight. And these words are so and such. Have you ever heard these words before people? So and such. Have you ever heard those words before? No. Never? Never. Oh, interesting. Interesting. There you go. Nobody has heard about those words? Okay. All right. That's really cool. So let's see what they are about. Because we got both of them as unknown words. And that's pretty interesting. So we got so and such. When to use them? Check this out. Jorge, help me out reading, please. We often use so and such to meet very or really, mm -hmm. it makes the sentence stronger mm -hmm. and show that there is high level of the something. Mm. Ah, very good. So let's see, in this case, we use so and such, listen up, to mean very or really. They are basically a synonym of these words, very or synonym, uh, I mean, or really. Now, do you know what is very and really? Have you ever heard those words before? Yes. Yeah, very? Ah, oh, okay, very good. Ah, you see, I'm using very or really, really good. So they are like basically synonyms. How to use them? Ah. Listen, it says, it makes the sentence stronger and shows that there is a high level of something, okay? Example of it, listen, listen. If you say, the English class is interesting, okay? That's like a normal class. The English class is interesting. But if you say, the English class, listen, is so interesting that is showing a high level of importance for you, okay? So that's the way how we use them. But let's see a couple of examples, okay? Let's see this, okay? Uh, Ever, help me out reading this one. She was so beautiful. Uh -huh. She called, she was very beautiful. Okay, you see? In this case, if you tell about a woman, ah, she was so beautiful, uh, it's equal as if you say she was very beautiful. Okay, now, and what is very beautiful? It's like bien or muy bonita. So you see, in that case, so lo que hace es darle más un, un nivel más de importancia. Okay, algo, right? Un to, superlativo sería. Uh, no tanto como superlativo, sino más bien como darle un poco más de, digamos, si algo es importante, usando so o such, hacerlo mucho más importante. Okay, darle un tanto más de relevancia. Very is, com is common use it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so is no more, no, is no Common. Uh, it's, uh -huh, it's not that that common, but it is just uh -huh. right? Because like these words are so important, you know. In the, como de la forma formal, así. Uh, exactly, exactly, right? Both okay. of them are, are very, very beautiful. 
Ajá, ajá. Como la película de Shrek que dice Far, Far, Far Away. <laughs> exactly, right? Sí, es un ejemplo. Exactly, right? Es simplemente cuando usamos so or such, es cuando damos más realce a lo, de lo que estamos hablando. All right? Darle un toque más de importancia. Okay? Ah, pero siento que sería como formal, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque lo informal sería como repetir la misma palabra, ver y o... Exactly, exactly. Entonces, básicamente lo que son, son pala palabras sinónimas, right? That you can use really, you can use very, you can use so or such. Ah, pero también depende de eh, el tipo de estructura que tengamos. ¿Cómo así? In this case, take a look at that. She was so beautiful. All right. Utilizamos so. En ese caso, no podemos utilizar such por una sencilla razón. Such es más que todo utilizado después de o antes de, en este caso, generalmente de un artículo que generalmente puede ser a o an, right? que vamos a ver más adelante. Check this out. Okay, Eric, help me read in this example. The program was such a big success. Ah, you see? The program was such a big success. Okay, it means the program was a really big success. You see, in that case, both of them are acting as something to give more importance to something, okay? To make something stronger, in this case, such a big success. Entonces, ¿qué nos indica acá? Nos indica que such, tanto such como so, podemos utilizarlos antes de adjetivos para describir algo. Let's remember that beautiful and big in this case are adjectives. Why adjectives? Because they describe an action. They describe in this case a noun or something very important. In this case, right? Beautiful. ¿Qué está describiendo la palabra beautiful? Ah, está describiendo la palabra woman. All right? Uh -huh. eh, eh, de hecho, el adjetivo es beautiful, right? Pero ¿qué está describiendo el adjective? The word woman. La palabra woman, mujer. Ok. En este caso, ¿y qué representa la palabra woman? She. She. Ok. The program was such a big success. Ah, big success. Double adjective. ¿Qué está describiendo ahí? Ah, estamos describiendo el programa. Y fue un gran éxito. So you see, in that case. Podemos decir, ah, the program was, you know, like a big success. But adding such a big success is like como agregarle más, más realce a algo. Okay? That's the way how we use them into sentences. But let's see like, like extra examples. Okay? But now separately so we can understand in a better way. Let's start with so. Okay? Let's start with so. Okay. Let's read, Carla. We use so before an adjective or other. Uh -huh. We talk about um. Ah, okay. Good. We got this example. Roxana, help me on reading this example, please. He, him, so, what, ¿cómo se pronuncia el teacher? He ran so quickly. Ah, he ran so quickly. 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 Yes. Ah, quickly. He uh -huh. ran so quickly. Ah. Uh -huh. He ran very quickly. 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 <laughs> Where that was, right? What is quickly? <laughs> yeah. What is what is quickly? Quickly means like very fast, fast, right? It's a synonym of rápido, okay? Pero este es un adverb. Exactly. Pero este es un adverb. ¿Y qué es un adverb? 
En español lo conocemos como adverbio. ¿Y qué hace un adverbio? Listen up. Describe un verbo. Un adverbio describe la acción de un verbo. ¿Y cuál es el verbo acá? ¿Qué verbo está describiendo el, el, el adverb quickly? Run. run. Run, run. ¿Y qué significa run? What is run? Correr. Correr. Ah, es la forma pasada del verbo run. Y aquí está como corrió. ¿Ok? Muy rápido. So you see? In that case, the adverb quickly is describing the action of the verb. In this case, if you say, listen, when we add so quickly, it means like very quickly, right? In este caso, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es la diferencia de poner so y simplemente dejar quickly? All right? Supongamos que Jonathan is running, right? So, Fatima le puede ver a Jonathan y decir, Fatima, Ah, Jonathan ran quickly. Ah, Jonathan corre, you know, like, rápido. Ok, pero supongamos que Jonathan lleva dos people atrás de él, right? Ah, queriéndolo morder, right? Y Fatima lo ve. Y ve que Jonathan, like, shh, aumenta de velocidad. Ah, entonces Fatima dice, Jonathan ran so quickly. What does it mean? Ah, que Jonathan va mucho más rápido que simplemente utilizando la, la, en este caso el adverb quickly. So you see, entonces para dar más realce, ¿ok? O aumentar más el hecho del que se está hablando, que en este caso, ¿cuál es el hecho? Que va corriendo okay. rápido, ¿ok? En este caso, like so quickly. Ah, significa que va corriendo muy rápido. You see, there is one slight difference entre correr rápido y correr muy rápido. You see, entonces, so we can use it that way, right? To show something like in a higher level. Teacher, y yes. eh, so, eh, también se, se podría utilizar como para decir tan. Then. Mm -hmm. o sea, que ah, in that case, it's like when you're well, making a comparison. Uh -huh. Ah, ahí es cuando ya vamos haciendo una comparación. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can use it. Uh -huh. We can use it. Ajá. Yes, we can even use it. Ajá. A pesar de que no estamos hablando ahí de adjetivos, yeah, we can use it. Uh -huh. okay. There you go. Let's see another example. Ah, take a look at this. Ah, uh, let's see. Stephanie, help me on reading this example. Uh, the food was so delicious. The food was really delicious. Ah, you see. The food was so delicious. Ah, the food was really delicious. What does it mean? Okay. Let's put a Maritza to cook the dinner. And then let's put Kilmer to cook the dinner. And you see, I mean, everybody is eating a Hilmar's food. And everybody says, ah, the food that Hilmar prepared was delicious. Okay. But Marisa knows how to cook very good. Okay. And you say, people, ah, Marisa's food was so delicious. What does it mean? That in comparison to Hilmar's food, Maritza's food was like in this position. You see? In that case, it's like to give an a strong, let's, let, let, let's put this, to give an a strong, okay, uh, action of what you are talking about. Okay? So in that case, ¿a qué le estamos dando más realce? Ah, to Maritza's food, right? Mm -hmm. In that case. So let's use so para dar más realce, para decir que estuvo mucho más, ¿ok? De esa acción que de lo otro. So, that's why we use so, in this case, right? Para dar más realce, ¿ok? Para decir que estuvo mucho más delicioso. In this case, right? Now, let's see another example. So, you can understand better. Uh, 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 let's see who hasn't participated. 
Ruth, help me read in this example, please. Okay, and the children spoke uh -huh. French so well. Aha. Uh -huh. The children spoke French very well. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, in here, it's likely similar to the other examples. It says, the children spoke French so well. What does so well mean in this case? Ah, that the children speak French very good, very well, very understandable, okay? Probably the children speak intermediate level, the French language, okay? So that's why they do it very good. So let's, it's like what we are doing right now, okay? Let's suppose, let's suppose I got Eric and I got Evelyn here, okay? Eric is in an intermediate level and Ever is a basic level, right? Ever start speaking English and I can say, ah, Ever speaks well, right? Ever speaks well, ah, Ever habla bien, okay? El inglés, bien. And let's say Eric speaks, listen up, Eric speaks English so well. What does it mean? Ah, that it means that Eric knows more, that Eric speaks better the English, right? So in Spanish, it's like, ah, Eric habla inglés muy bien. So you see? En ese caso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Dándole más realce, right? A la acción de que, in this case, Eric knows more. Okay? There you go. I don't know if you're understanding this part, people. Are we understanding how the word so works in a sentence? Or do you have any question? Hasta ahora, vamos comprendiendo o hay alguna pregunta. Something that it's not, like, understandable for you. You can ask people. Teacher. Yes. Entonces, eh, so eh, se eh, lo vamos a utilizar cuando decimos que es importante algo. O... Ajá, like to say, to say it that way, right? Generalmente lo vamos a usar más con adjetivos, ¿ok? Para dar más realce a algo, ¿ok? Example, okay. como decíamos, podemos decir, ah, the class is interesting. Ah, la clase es interesante. Pero si digo, the class is so interesting. Ah, la clase es muy interesante. So you see, en este caso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Dándole más realce, ¿ok? O más importancia en este caso. O más relevancia, as you want to say it, to the class. Mm, okay, teacher. Gracias. Yeah. There you go. Any other question? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Jonathan, go ahead. Uh, is so and such, such, lo podemos ocupar con cualquier pronombre. Igual, ya sea, no sé. ¿Con cualquier pronombre? Sí. Aquí, they, we. Ah, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Depende yeah. Del exactly. We can use it, we can use it. Por ejemplo, acá donde tenemos the children. Ah, podemos reemplazar la palabra the children y poner they. Okay, and, and it doesn't matter, right? En no, este caso, vale. ajá. Te lo voy a poner por they, pero they se puede usar ya sea so o so. Depende de lo que sea el entorno. Exacto, dependiendo, uh, de, no, en este caso, dependiendo de lo que vaya a hablar, right? dependiendo de la acción, así va a ser si va a usar such o va a usar so, right? Generalmente, generally, cuando mencionamos adjetivos, algo que vayamos a describir, entonces generalmente usamos so. Ok, an example, an example, Jonathan. So, let's suppose let's suppose you know a, a person, a woman, okay? And you say, she is so interesting. Ah, en este caso usted se está refiriendo a 
a alguien más, a una mujer en este caso, diciendo, she is so interesting. Ah, ella es bien interesante. So you see, what are you describing in that case? Or what are you talking about? You're talking about one woman. ¿Ok? ¿Y qué está haciendo en este caso? Ah, está dando realce o está diciendo que ella es bien interesante. ¿Ok? O, en pocas palabras, que está interesado en ella. ¿You see? So we can use it differently, in different ways. ¿Ok? Using every subject. Utilizando todos los pronombres. All right, there you go. Any other question? Jorge, do we understand this topic? At least the word saw. Yeah, for the moment, I understand the, the use of the saw. Uh -huh. It's the increment tense or incrementar. Uh -huh. the, la realzar, por decirlo así, creo. Uh -huh. uh, una cualidad o algo que no se puede medir solamente con las palabras normales. Uh -huh, uh -huh. O, o de uso cotidiano. Así lo entendí. Ah, ok. Very good. So let's see. I, I do really want to identify people if you have a really, if you have really understood this part. Because it's really important to, to you know, like to, to, to keep this clear. And for that, I just want for you one single example. Let's write down one single example in there, in your notebooks. And let me know when you finish so I can identify if we have understood this part, in that case, we can move on, or I had to provide extra examples, okay? Let's help me out with one example. When you have it, just let me know, okay? And we can continue with the, with the, with the other one, with the other slide in this case. Let me check, ah oh, yeah, we got some extra examples right after that. Just let me know if you have any 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 word that you don't know, any word that you want to write down, something, just let me know. But let's do one example. Hi, teacher. Okay, you finished? Yes. All right, there you go. Just he let me is so handsome. <laughs> okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Maritza. Okay. Who else has finished? There you go. Okay. Uh, Hilmar, let's do it. Así como cuando uno comienza a caer en la garra. She is so nice. She is so nice. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Y luego dice, no, pero ¿en qué estaba pensando? She, she is so terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you said, Larry, she is so terrible. <laughs> okay, very good, Helmer. Eric. Ay, Dios, caso de la vida real. <laughs> eh, the dog is so funny. The dog is so funny. Creo que funny es gracioso. Ah, le escuché honey. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, what? Funny. No, funny, funny. funny. No, okay, so funny, right? Es bien divertido. Okay, very good. Who else has finished? Me. Okay, Jorge, go on. That motorway is so dangerous. No, okay. There you go. Very good. Joel has finished? Yeah, teacher. My okay. dog. My dog flying so early. My dog? Fly. What, what, what you mean by lie? Jugar, jugar. Uh, play. Play. Ah, okay. My dog played. So early. So early. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. There you go. So early. Bien temprano. Very good. Who else has finished? Uh-huh. Me. 
the the birthday cake smelled uh -huh. so fine. Ah, so fine. Okay, very good. Stephanie, thank you. Ever. My daughter is so beautiful. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, me has more Linda. Very good. Your teacher. Okay, Anna. Um, the movie was so terrific. Terrific. Terrific? Uh huh. Ah, okay. All right. Nice. It was like, you are like so scary, right? Very good. Who else has finished? Let's see. Fatima, I know that you want to participate. Let's do it. Don't resist. No sé si está bien, teacher. Ah, me neither. But let's see. The boys are so intelligent. Ah, okay. Thank you, I see a tragedy. Okay, good. Thank you, Fatima. <laughs> let's see who else, who else has finished. All right, let's see. Uh, Ruth, did you finish your example? Ruth, are you there? Hello. Okay, Rosa. Rosa. Uh, Mateo is so clever. Clever. Ah, okay. Clever. There you go. Mateo. Who's Mateo, Rosa? It's my nephew. Mateo. What is the second name of Mateo? Uh, Mateo is the second name. Ah, what is the first one? It's Douglas. Douglas. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm asking because Mateo is going to be my second, uh, my baby's second name. Oh, yo tengo un sobrino que uno se llama Mateo y el otro es Matías. Ah, that's really cool. That's really mm -hmm. cool. So when my baby gets born, uh, my the, the second name is going to be uh, Mateo. And the first name? Ah, uh, it's going to be Giancarlo. Mm -hmm. Está bien, está bien, está bien. Yeah. Right. That's, that's pretty cool. Right. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, let's see who's, who's missing. Ah, Romeo, are you there? I see Romeo's like long time ago there. Romeo. Come on, people. Are you there? Huh. Okay. All right. Let's continue then. Apparently, it's not there. So we got some extra examples in here using using solve. Okay. Just just for a further understanding for you people. Okay. Jonathan, help me out reading this one, please. My dog fly so early. Ah, okay. Let's see. All right. I was so tired last night. Give me a second. Yes. Okay. Very good. I was so tired last night, like me today. I am so tired right now because of the chat. Really, people, I got a horrible headache. Ah. Para, y yo así como que, ¿para qué me vacuné? ¿Para qué? But anyways, I had to do it, right? Teacher. Yes. ¿Cuál le pusieron? Ah, uh, no, I mean, it was, it was I mean, La primera ni la sentí, la igual es la, uh, la, la, ¿cómo se llama esta? Moderna. Yeah. The first one was like everything okay. I mean, I, I didn't have anything. No, no headache, no pain, no anything. And now, 
ah, siento que mi brazo se va a caer. <risa> uh, ¿Y I le got, pusieron cuál primero, teacher? I got a big, a big, uh, I feel, my, my head, I feel it like this, this size, and, and I'm sleepy. <risa> ah? No, it was, it was, uh, it was the same, it was the same, uh, uh, what is this name? La Moderna. Mm -hmm. That one. This is the second dose. It's not the third one. This one. Ah, okay. Con la tercera voy a morir. <laughs> All right. But let's continue. No, pero la tercera entonces le toca la Pfizer. Porque las que te han puesto la, la moderna en segunda, la tercera la Pfizer. No, probably that one is going to be. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si la ponemos. Pero a los adultos mayores que les pusieron, que nos pusieron, yo no soy adulto mayor, pero ahí esa me pusieron. Todavía. Okay. Okay. Pero, pero ahorita le pusieron AstraZeneca a mi mamá. Y yo dije, <risa> ya casi, dentro de ocho años voy a ser adulto mayor. Ah, Tiche. Okay. Okay, I was playing with you, Ana María. Ah, really? Ah, que la molesta, Ana María. Eh, 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 así es él, pero después, después cuando yo lo molesto, se enoja y dice que ah. me va a aplazar. Really? Hey, Ana María, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Mire, pero a mi mamá ni un problema, ni siquiera really? le dolió nada, Uy, nada. Qué genial, así sí, qué bien. Nada. Ya. Yeah. Y le pusieron la AstraZeneca. Wow. Tiene buenas defensas su mami. Y mi hija le pusieron la, la moderna. Yeah. Nada. Nada. Really? Bueno, a mí, a mí no me dio ningún efecto tampoco. Ah, mí no es cool. That's cool. That's cool. No, a mí solo, o sea, para decir que la migraña. O sea, ah, siempre la migraña ajá, que yeah, me da always, acompañando ajá. mi vida, ¿verdad? Pero de <risa> yeah, ahí, normal. Ajá, me, ah. es la vida sin migraña. Cuando tengo más de cinco días de que no me ha dado, yo, wow, no me ha dado. Mejor ni me acuerdo. <risa> ya, yeah. eh, siempre sucede. Same, same happens mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. But anyways, so let's see what's up at the end. Okay, Pero uh, ya le pusieron la segunda, ¿verdad? ¿Usted? Esta es la segunda. Sí, y por eso digo o sea, que la, la, la primera, o sea, I didn't feel anything, ni siquiera el pinchoncito, y ahora. No, ah, pero yo sabía que a los niños de 12 la... años le estaban poniendo la vacuna. Ah. Yo sabía yeah. que a los niños de 12 años le estaban poniendo la vacuna. Yes, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. Está abierto para todos. Todavía, todavía soy niño, hombre. No, teacher. Yes. Por yes. favor, teacher. Ah, teacher. ¿Con que oh, ofenda la inteligencia nuestra. Con que hay alguien que no quiere aceptar que es adulto mayor. No, todavía me falta. Ah, you sí. Ah, ya ve. Yo vivo yeah. feliz con mi vida. Ajá, me too. Me too. As a kid, obviously. <laughs> ok, let's read the second example. Carla, teacher, question. Ajá. We can we can to use can so, we can we use can we can we use so mm -hmm. in in present and past tense. We can use it simple future, simple present, present perfect, past progressive. Pass simple as you want it. All right? Mm -hmm. eh, sí, ahí no hay restricción de uso de, en cuanto al, al tiempo. Lo puedes El usar tiempo. en cualquier tiempo verbal, right? Siempre y cuando indiquemos algo que, un, que, que realce, right? No problem. Right? Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Otra, otra pregunta. ¿Es Ajá. correcto la oración así como yo se la dije? El que lleve is. Antes de eso, no. Yo leí. He is so clever. Yes, of course. That's the way. Se puede. Ah, yes, esa, que es no la, se esa es la forma más apropiada. Yeah, that's the correct form. 
No puede okay. decir he so is. I mean, that's incorrect. He is so, no. and then the adjective. Es que yo pensé que no se permitía agregarle is o otro. Claro que sí, es que ahí el is está, de, de, está definiendo, uh, en este caso, right? el es. That's the, that's the verb in that case, is. Right? It's like, he is so interesting. Oh, como decía Hilmar, she is so, uh, what was Hilmar? She is so what? What was your example, Hilmar? Uh, she is so nice. Ah, you see, she is so nice. Now she is so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, para Hilmar sería, she was so nice. Simple past. Esa es la forma pasada. She was so nice. Now she is so terrible. <laughs> You see? Entonces, ahí estamos usando simple past and simple present. And there's no problem. Okay? No problem about it. All right. Carla, tell me on reading the second example. Okay, teacher. Uh, my husband is so loving. Uh, uh, is so what? Loving. Amoroso. Ah, lovely, lovely, Love. yes, lovely, mm -hmm. yeah, ah, okay, lovely, ah, yeah, I mean, husbands are like that, right, Eric, uh, who else is married, ah, <laughs> Ever, uh, Jorge, Hilmer, who else, no, nah, Romeo is not married, right, but yeah, but we are so lovely, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean a veces las mujeres no tanto, verdad, pero, ¿Qué podemos hacer? <laughs> no, I mean, that's a good example, Carla. That's a really good example. <laughs> Look at Ana Maria. <laughs> All right. Okay, people, listen. I'm going to stop a little bit in here. I'm going to pass the attendance list, and then we can continue with this, okay? Give me a second, because it's 9.09. Huh. I, was, I was missing that part. Give me a second. All right, Ana Claribel. Hey, Ana, got a long time without connecting. Ana Maria. Present. Okay. Carlos Ademir. No here. El Guillermo. Present, dicho. Okay. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Ok. Fátima Alejandra. Present teacher. All right, nice. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Ok, good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Jorge Elvir. Present. Ah, ok, good. Carla Benacir. Present. Okay, Margot Hernandez. Margot, are you there? Hi. <laughs> okay, es Margot. Que, como todavía estoy con medicamento. Ah. Así que, ni modo, me dio COVID, <laughs> así que ni modo. Really? You got, you sí. got COVID? Sí, eh, ah, prácticamente okay. en la oficina, mi, el esposo de mi jefa ahorita está con oxígeno. Eh, ella, eh, todos están, están contagiados, así es que le sí, contagiaron. Tremendo. Uh -huh. Ay, 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 pero. Así pero... Es que por eso he estado esta semana toda así, todavía me siento un poco babosa, pero. <risa> no diga eso. No diga eso. <risa> babosa. No diga eso. No, pero qué bueno que ya se va recuperando y. Y que no pasó a mayores. Sí, gracias a Dios. That's, that's good. That's really good. La verdad que, que hoy estuve en una consulta en el Seguro no Social y la doctora me dijo que esto va peor. Yes. Y you know no was the thing, Ana María. El problema es que hay muchas personas, incluyendo personal eh, de salud, que dicen, ah, ya tengo la tercera dosis, ya tengo la segunda dosis. No es necesario ni usar mascarilla. I can go wherever I want and no problem. You see? Por eso es que hay tantos casos. Si ahora usted sí. ve en el, en el centro, en todos lados, 
personas sin mascarilla. Pregúntele a la pero, mayoría si andan alcohol o algo. They don't have it. That's the, that's the, that is the real problem. Fíjese que mi, una de mis mejores amigas que trabaja en el Ministerio de Salud dice yeah. que la, la semana pasada hubieron hasta 70 muertos. Lo que pasa es que las autoridades no dicen, no dicen. la cantidad. Hubo un domingo muertos. que murieron 85. Imagínense. Imagínense qué terrible. Y, y están diciendo 12, 18, 20. Eso no es correcto. Hay una Mira. plaza vacante que hay que aprovechar. <risa> Pésimo. No, Eri. No, pero en este caso. No, pero es que todo depende también de cómo usted se cuide. You know, like, sí. Si usted no se cuida, ah, sabe que si se enferma, tal vez a usted no le pase no, nada, pero... pero alguien de su familia, probably it will be, you know, like. Fíjese que el, el, la semana pasada aquí, mi, la vecina de nosotros, dicen, se había ido porque eh, le había dado a, a ella y a la hija. Y como cerca está, estamos nosotros, eh, quizás por seguridad se mejor se fueron eh, yeah. porque mi mamá pues ya una persona de 82 años y el vecino que lo único el único pecado que le veo yo al señor es que le gustaba ir al gimnasio murió, lo ingresaron el jueves, no. el domingo murió fue so sad yeah, I mean, that's what happens you see be careful Ana Mira, María pero que yo, yo considero que, bueno, sí es responsabilidad de todos, pero siento que a veces él les escapa de las manos también al, al sistema médico porque este, cuando yo estuve así y que perdí el olfato y el, y el gusto, yo fui otra vez con la misma doctora y le dije, mire, creo, yo creo que es esto porque me ha pasado esto. Bueno, me salió regañando porque me dijo de que que lo que yo le estaba comentando era ilógico porque yo era una persona que tenía problemas alérgicos y que eso me provocaba ese síntoma y al final salió que no salí que tenía COVID y usted yo, yo hubiera sido usted, yo me hubiera ido a la calle y a tirarle el examen así ay yo no mire, es que lo que pasa es que hasta ahora fui a trabajar, pero mañana pienso ir por ahí Ay, está bueno. Ahí le toma video y nos lo manda. Sí. Yo como va a que allí en el seguro dice de que prohibido tomar fotos y videos. Sí. <risa> sí. No es prohibido. No, ah. pero usted lo puede hacer si me diga usted está comprobando una negligencia Solo se lo a usted, un, de parte de ellos. Yo hoy tengo, yo hoy tengo un video de una mala atención que, eh, no. que, que me dieron en el seguro cuando yo tuve lo del accidente. Yo, tengo, yo sí le di su par de, de tonteras así de, al estilo Ana María. Y, okay. Okay. Mire, es que realmente hay que yo me peleé, cuando yo me peleé mucho fue con mi padre, porque con mi padre cometían unas, una, un, unas regadas que un día le dije yo, si usted me va a operar, porque, o sea, rápido se, se le había tapado su, 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 para hacer pipí, pues. Y lo querían operar y ya estaba entubado con su problema y todo. Y le dije yo, usted me, usted me va a arreglar ese problema yo en la tarde y si no, le voy a meter una demanda a todo el MQ, le dije. En la tarde que yo llegué, increíblemente ya se había arreglado el problema. ¿Cómo va a creer la gente? Entonces, si la gente no habla. Y mi papá, como estaba entubado, esto lo me hacía. Me hacía el anciano, pobrecito. Ahí murió, ahí murió, ya después de tanto, tanto luchar con él, al final ya está descansando. Gracias a Dios, porque si no estuviéramos súper mal ahorita. Mire, diga que en el ya. MQ están los especialistas. Sí, sí, sí porque la enfermedad de él solo ahí se, se abordaba. All right. That was that. Sorry for Ay, you. no, tengamos cuidado, tengamos cuidado. Yes, yes, you got to. Ok, let's continue. Lo que usted dice es muy, mire, yo ando, yo venía hoy el día, yo creo que hasta sentía gorrezas de tanto alcohol la, 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 las manos, porque yo tocaba algo, algo, alcohol. 
Y me, me acabé el bote de alcohol, lo andaba como a la mitad, vine sin nada, vine a refiliar el, el, el alcohol. Yo sí, yo, y yo me echo, yo no solo la mano, yo me echo. Solo tomarle le faltaba. Ajá, yo pensé que las amigas. Yo creo que mi no cuerpo aguantado. nunca. Ya sin case, ya sin case. Ajá, ajá. Quién sabe, no. a lo mejor, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, oh, Dios. let's go. <ríe> Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Ok, cool. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Ok, nice. Romeo Alexis. Ah, ¿cómo es Romeo? Ok. There you go. There you are. Ah, Rosa del Carmen. Present. All right. Ah, Ruth Joana. Present, teacher. Nah, ok. Good. Sara Carolina. Present, teacher. Ok, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ok, Vanessa Odette. Present. Ok, very good. Uh, William Alberto. Ok, William, I thought William was there. Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present. Ok, Nubia Zulema. Ah, Nubia didn't connect today, huh? Uh, Jennifer Noemi, okay, we don't have Jennifer in here, and we got the last one, Diana Gabriela, which is not here. Okay, let's continue with uh, the things that we got in here. There you go, we got this, this, these examples, right? Okay, let's continue. Uh, just to confirm, can you see my presentation? Hmm. Yes? Okay, yes. cool. I had to, you know, like be asking porque no quiero que me pase la del viernes, right? Está hablando solo y ustedes así como que, what is he talking about? But anyways, let's continue. Okay, Ever, help me out reading the third example. The course is so difficult. Ah, okay. It means that the course is very difficult, right? Or really difficult. Let's remember that. Very good. Now, we got another one. Uh, let's see. Who can help me out? Natalie, help me out reading. The boss ate, oh, no sé cómo se pronuncia ahí. Ate, yeah. Ate so much last time. Okay, there you go. The boss ate so much last time. Es como el jefe comió mucho, right? La última vez, last time. There you go. And let me see. I, I guess I have another example in here. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, Jonathan, help me out, please. Uh, I didn't listen, Jonathan. I think you got problems with the audio. I have to read so many emails. Ah, okay. Thank you. I had to read so many emails. Listen, listen. En este caso, cuando hablamos de cosas que representan cantidades, okay, podemos hacerlo de esta manera. Like, I have to read so many emails. Acá estamos haciendo una repre representación de algo que indica mucho, ¿ok? Mucho, ¿ok? Like, I had to read so many. Cuando usamos la palabra many, recordemos, significa mucho. Pero acá es como, ah, tengo que leer muchísimos emails, ¿ok? O muchísimos correos. Entonces, acá lo que estamos haciendo es hablar de algo extremadamente grande, ¿ok? O una cantidad extremadamente grande, in this case, right? There you go. All right, people. Before moving on from here, do we have any question related to this to this uh, structure using so? Tenemos algún uh, alguna pregunta, alguna duda? Todavía al usar so, because now we are moving on to the to to the next uh, word. Teacher, una, una pregunta. Yeah, tell eh, me. 
no lo vamos a, a colocar siempre en la misma posición del ejemplo o puede ir en otro lugar? Generalmente se coloca ahí. Generalmente va antes de un adjetivo, ¿ok? O antes, en este caso, de una, de una quantifier, que en este caso puede ser many, que indique ya sea mucho o poco. Let's remember que cuando usamos quantifiers, o bien podemos representar mucho o representar poco. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. Let's keep going. Ok, now using such. When do we use such? Or in what moments we use such? Huh. Ana Maria, help me out reading this short definition, please. We use such before a noun or an adjective uh -huh. plus a noun, a, a noun, if there is a or an, if God goes after such. Now, okay, we got some examples. Listen up. Examples. Fatima? Help me read in this, this example, please. She was shot a beautiful woman. Uh, she was a very beautiful woman. Ah, okay, there you go. Listen up. She was such a beautiful woman. Such a beautiful woman. Equal. She was a very beautiful woman. Ok, so in this case it's like como, ella era, ok, una mujer muy bonita. So you see a, right, en este caso ponemos such antes de a, ok, que en este caso como les mencionaba, eh, indica un artículo, that's an article. Let's remember that a and n are articles. It's equal, as you said in that example, She was a very beautiful woman, okay? It's likely the same. Entonces, en este caso, ¿qué nos está indicando? Básicamente o exactamente lo mismo o el mismo significado que tiene so, okay? It's exactly the same meaning as so, okay? There you go. So, she was a very beautiful woman. It's likely the same. What indicates in there is like the difference in position. All right, so Maritza, help me out reading the second example. He, he got sign, sign, such, such, such a good time in the race. Okay. Equal, he got a very good time in the race. Now, okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza. Listen okay. up. He got such a good time in the race. Gotcha. Or he got a very good time in the race, right? Ah, what does it say in Spanish? He got a very good time in the race. Ah, pasó un buen momento, okay? O un muy buen momento en la carrera. So you see, en este caso, entonces, que aquí estamos dando realce a que pasó un muy buen momento, okay? So he got a such a good time, right? Such a good time. Entonces, en este caso, such generalmente siempre se coloca antes de un, de un article, que en este caso puede ser a or n, ¿ok? A or n. Y que generalmente suele ir después de un a or n, que es article, puede ir un adjective, ¿ok? Or a noun in this case, ¿ok? An adjective, let's remember, like, like it can describe a person. Okay, that's what it works about. But let's see some further examples so you can understand in a better way. Okay, because later on you have to give me one extra example uh, by your own. Okay, let's move on. Extra examples. Ah, let's see. I got, Roxana, help me out reading this one. She has such a lot of book. Okay, listen up. 
He has such a lot of books. What does it mean? It's likely the same as so. He has such a lot of books. It means, ah, que él tiene muchísimos, o muchos libros en este caso, ¿ok? ¿Qué está haciendo ahí en ese caso such? Representando una cantidad elevada de algo, ¿ok? Con un, está actuando lo mismo como actúa so usando un quantifier, right? Usando un quantifier. En este caso, a lot significa mucho, ¿ok? Let's remember. Pero ya usando such, da un tanto más de realce, ¿ok? Diciendo como, ah, muchísimo, ¿ok? Algo ya, una cantidad un tanto considerable, por así decirlo, ¿ok? Now, a second example. Uh, Vanessa, help me out reading, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, I hate, I hate such... I ate. I ate such, 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 uh -huh. a lot of cake. Ah, okay, very good. I ate such a lot of cake. What does it mean? Ah, que okay. comí mucho o muchísimo pastel. Okay, there you go. So in that case, que estamos dando real se a ah, que comimos mucho, mucho pastel. So you see que hicimos algo, ok, en este caso esa actividad, uh, de manera un tanto exagerada, por así decirlo, ok. There you go. Hmm. Let's see, let's read an extra example so we can understand it a far away. Ever, help me out, please. It is such a creative program. Creative. A cre creative. Yeah, creative program. It is such a creative program. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Ever. Listen up. It is such a creative program. Ah, es un programa muy creativo. So you see, ese muy, entonces está indicando el, el such. Muy creativo, okay? Es un programa muy creativo. So you see, in that case, like we are like giving uh, more importance to the creativity that that, that program has. An extra example, uh, Carla. It is such a significant invest, investment. 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 Yeah. What does the word investment mean, people? Conocemos esa palabra, investment? Yes. What is it? Invers in inversiones. Inversion. There you go. It is acting as a noun in that case. Yeah, and investment means inversion. Okay. All right. It is such a significant investment. Ah. Es una inversión muy significativa. Ok. There you go. Ese muy, entonces está actuando. Ok. Eh, la palabra such, como ese muy, muy significativa. So you see? That's the way how we can put it into here. And let's read another one. Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, are you there? No, okay, I think she's not there. Ah, na, 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 na. Let's see. Margot, help me out reading, please. The report was sought uh, useful to before. Useful to before. Ah, okay. Useful to before. Okay. The report. Thank you. The report was such a useful tool before. Ah, que el reporte o los reportes eran un, una herramienta muy útil, you know, like back in the days. You see. So in that case, let's remember. In este caso, entonces la palabra such, or the word such in English, 
It is acting like ese muy, muy. Esa es la traducción, okay? Uh, into Spanish, to the words that we or that we put into a sentence. Like in this case, most of the sentences that we got there indicates ese, ese, esa palabrita, ese muy, para dar más realce a lo que estamos hablando. Okay. Let's see if I got another one in here. I think this is the last one. Yeah, that was the last example. All right, people. Do we understand how this word works into a sentence? Or we need an extra example? Just let me know if we have understood this part of, or if you have any question with this. Hello. Maybe in the practice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the practice. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's put it into practice. Bien. Como nadie me contestó, supongo que ni nadie me preguntó, supongo que está correctamente entendible. Ah, let's see. I want one example, people. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Quiero un ejemplo. Okay, let's do one example for me, people. Using such. Let's do it. And let me know when you finish. Your teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Go on. Uh, I needed so much money to do. I need so much money today. Ah, uh, uh, Jonathan, pero en ese caso está usando much y no such. Ah, sí, such. <laughs> yeah, yeah, change it, change it. Sí, porque ahí sería so much money. Ah, necesito mucho dinero. All right, that's different. Hi, teacher. All right, Maritza. It's such a good movie. Okay, it's such a good movie. All right, es una buena película. Very good. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. The game was such a interesting the last weekend. Let's repeat it. The game was such an interesting the last weekend. Okay, listen, listen. In este caso lo vamos a reform, reform. Okay, let's redo it again. Ever. All right. It was such a, an interesting game last weekend. That will be the correct way, Ever. Listen, listen. Cuando usamos such, generalmente, Después de la palabra such usamos ya sea a or n, ¿ok? Para luego caer en un adjetivo, ¿ok? Un adjetivo que describe, describe lo que estamos hablando, ¿ok? Pero después del adjective lo que necesitamos es un noun o algo de lo que realmente estamos hablando. Y en este caso, ¿de qué se está hablando? Ever, en este caso es okay. su Estamos hablando de juego. There you go. Entonces, acá, a diferencia del so, del so, lo colocamos, listen, de lo que realmente estamos hablando, lo colocamos después del adjetivo. Después. Ok. Listen. Let's put a comparison. Vamos a poner una comparación. Ok. Look. Vamos a retomar el, el ejemplo de Hilmar. Ok. Listen, she is, okay, so, pero vamos a cambiarlo, so interesting, o oh, vamos a poner uh, algo más diferente, she is so, what, amazing, she is so amazing, en este caso, okay, in this case, estamos usando, look, Look, she, 
Luego el, el verb, that in this case is is. Luego tenemos the word, in this case so. Y luego tenemos el adjective, ¿ok? Amazing. Amazing. Ahora bien, usando la palabra such. Listen, poniendo el mismo ejemplo, pero usando la palabra such. All right, listen. She is, look. Such an amazing woman. Woman. She's such an amazing woman. So you see, en este caso, inclusive agregamos, agregamos, ok, una palabra extra que viene a dar lo mismo, ok, porque de qué, de qué, de qué estamos hablando acá con she, estamos hablando de una mm. mujer. Entonces, acá al final la colocamos. Right? Such an amazing woman. Ah, ¿y qué más agregamos acá? Un article. Que en este caso es an. An amazing woman. ¿Ok? Ah, como ella es una mujer muy increíble. So, you see? In this case, agregamos eh, un noun. An extra noun. Que en este caso, este nombre acá, o este noun... Ok, viene después, listen, después de qué? Después del adjetivo, you see, después del adjetivo, right after the adjective. Ok, there you go. Let's see if you have understood this part. Who has finished the example? ¿Quién ha terminado el ejemplo? Yo, teacher. All right, Rosana, let's read it. Yeah. Okay. Such is very in love with her boyfriend. Uh, let's let's read it again, Roxana, because I didn't listen to you. My sister such is very in love with her boyfriend. Que su hermana está muy enamorada de su novio. Enamorada de su novio. Uh -huh. El such lo coloqué de such es A ver, vamos. Ok. All right. Uh, 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 let, let's do something. Vamos a reformularla. Ok. Vamos primero a colocarla tal y como usted la tiene. Ok. Dice: My sister is. Uh, no, my sister. Eh, such. So is very uh -huh. is very in love with her boyfriend like this eh, solo falta el such um, adelante de adelante de donde Roxana después de sister después de sister Así. Uh -huh. um, uh, sí. Uh -huh. My sister such is very in love with her boyfriend. Ooh. Very challenging. Bien, people. ¿Cómo pondríamos esta oración ya de una manera más reformulada? Right? Porque acá, como tenemos el otro, Sana. Recuerde que la palabra such es básicamente como decir very, ¿ok? Es básicamente como decir very, ¿ok? Ahora bien. My sister. ¿Cómo la pondríamos such. acá? My sister such. No, my sister is such. My sister is such. Is such. No, pero ahí tiene que llevar un artículo. ¿Ah? Don't know, bitch. Se le sí. Who can help me out? 
why 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 you mean ever or oh, who's talking jonathan i i think my sister such uh fall in love with her boyfriend he's such in love such such in love such in love with her boyfriend listen listen si lo, colocamos, listen si lo colocamos de esta manera ok eh, de cierto modo está correcto listen, listen solo que acá ya tiene otro contexto muy diferente Acá ya la palabra such no la estamos usando como realmente la hemos venido usando, ¿ok? Sino que acá la oración quedaría como traducida de la siguiente manera. Mi hermana está como enamorada de su novio. Y sí, es como, como enamorada de su novio. Entonces es como que no estamos realmente seguros de que sí lo está. ¿Okay? ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso ya no está actuando como una palabra que indique algo, digamos, como enfatizar mucho o realzar mucho. ¿Ok? All right, Roxana. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que realmente necesitamos ahí, Roxana? Ah, en realidad necesitamos un adjetivo. ¿Ok? How come? Look. My sister Love and me. her boyfriend are such a lovely, lovely. couple. That would be a good way to represent this, this, this relationship, you see? My sister and her boyfriend are such a lovely couple. Ah, entonces en esta, en esta, sí, ya tiene un tanto más de lógico. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Usted lo borró. Ah, no, ahí lo tengo. Here it is. Las... All right, it says, my sister and her boyfriend are such a lovely couple. All right. That would be the, 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 the way, Roxana, okay? Let's copy that, Roxana. There you go. Uh, Pisa and Roxana. Eric, which one is your example? It is such an amazing car. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Carla, let's read your example. Uh, my son, my son is such restless. Is such restless. Uh, let's give me a second. I don't, I don't listen that much to you. Let's repeat it one more time, please. My son is such restless. No, okay. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's see. Ever, do you read yours? Yeah, right. Uh, it's the one that we, that we modified. The more the 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 way modified. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was such an interesting game last week. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Evan. Uh, Jorge. What was yours? Uh, we visit such fascinating place. Such a such fascinating places. Places. Okay. okay, very good. Thank you for it. Fatima. <laughs> What's up, Fatima? She, she has such a beautiful dress. Ah, okay, very good. She has such a beautiful dress. <laughs> Great Q, I see. She has such a beautiful uh, son. <laughs> Okay, Fatima. Good. Let's see, Rosa. Let's give me your example. Rosa, are you there? 
okay, I think she fell asleep or something like that. Okay, Vanessa. He is such applicate in your diet. 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 Okay, uh, by uh, applicate is like more applicado? Yes. No, okay, all right. Or dedicated. Okay, good. Thank you, Vanessa. Helmer, let's read yours. Uh, An example the such. Uh huh. Okay, um, they, are, they are such excellent students. Ah, okay, such excellent students. Very good. Uh, Ana Maria. Lo estoy pensando. Ah, no. Eh, my ya daughter is. <laughs> ya me voy. Eh, yeah, my, daughter... <laughs> my daughter is such intelligent. My, my daughter is such intelligent such an intelligent and girl girl such an intelligent girl mm -hmm. very good okay. uh, there you go okay okay uh jonathan did you read yours Jonathan. Okay. Uh, Ruth, do you have yours? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you read it for me? Um, en la acceso, no sé cómo se pronuncia. ¿Cuál? Es que la frase es el acceso inalámbrico a internet es muy conveniente, pero where, where lays internet access is so convenient, creo. This way? Pero, ¿Lo tiene así? Wireless internet access is so convenient. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. All right, eso es usando so. Usando such. Uh -huh. <sighs> no, no sé, solo con una o hice. <laughs> Dígale, ah, le ponemos la ula seis. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Only, only in replace, so. <laughs> no, listen. Excellent. Wireless very, very good. Access is such a convenient. Is such a convenient what? <laughs> no, nos falta algo ahí. Wireless internet access is such a convenient. Service, tal vez. Ah? Service, tal vez. Ah, yeah, I mean service. That's the word. Service. There you go. Entonces acá ya la tenemos usando such. You see? Ok, Ruth. Ese sería el ejemplo utilizando such, Ruth. Ok. Ok, let's see. Uh, Mrs. Rutia. Stephanie, are you there? Uh, I'm putting to sleep La uh, Rosa Ana Maria, no, Ana Maria is there uh, Let's see, Rosa, Jonathan Stephanie Me teacher uh, Okay, Sara uh, Training is such Important For the job Is such Training Is such uh, Important For the job eh, como las capacitaciones es tan importante para el trabajo. 
is such an important. Okay, all right. Will be training is such an important. Look, such an important part of the job. Like this? Yes. No, okay. All right. I'll buy that one. Training is such an important part of the job. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Natalie, I'm going to finish with you. Hi, teacher. Let's do it, Natalie. Eh, un ejemplo es... Bueno, yo hice dos, pero... Ajá, ajá. She has such a lot of makeup. No, okay. Y la otra es, he has such a lot family in the country. Ah, con la segunda, ¿qué quise colocar? Ah, que él tiene mucha familia en el país. Ok, eh, sería como, he has such a big family all over uh -huh. the country. Ah, sí, pero solamente no le había puesto big. Such a big family. All right, uh -huh. una familia grande. Right? Uh -huh. yeah, okay. okay, very good. Thank you, Natalie. Let's see, Vanessa, did you participate on this one? Vanessa. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Do you participate with your example using such? Una. Ah, ya me dio el ejemplo usando such. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, people. What are we gonna do? Ah, we are going to continue with Repeat. this. Repeat. What? No, no problem, Vanessa. If you did it, no problem, okay? What you are going to repeat is the one we, that we got in the following statement. Give me a second. Let's move to the manual, okay? And we are going to do the last activity that we got. Uh, let me say that we got on this page. Check this out, people. This is page 50, if I'm not wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a second. I gotta move. Page 40. Let's go to page 40 in the manual and you will identify these differences over here. Look. We got so and we got such, okay? And we got, of course, the examples over here, okay? Ah, let's start with this. So, Maritza, help me on reading the first example, please. The number five. Ah, uh, no, this one, this one. Okay. So. It is so necessary for the company. Ah, okay. Como es bien necesario para la compañía, right? Good. It is so necessary. Ever, let's read the second one. It is so important to check the reports. Ah, you see? Ah, como es bien importante revisar los reportes. It is so important to check the reports. Good. Jorge, the third one. The project will so well made. Well made. Okay. There you go. The projects were so well made. Ah, los proyectos están muy bien hechos. There you go. Fatima. Read the last one. All words I this were so imaginative. Okay, all right, Fatima. Listen, listen. Our ideas were so imaginative. Repeat. All words ideas. Uh, listen, listen. Our. Ours. No, ideas. our. Listen, listen. No, ours. Our. Our. Our ideas. Uh -huh. Were so ideas, ideas, okay, 
were so imaginative. Okay, imaginative, right? So looking un poquito más rápido, right? Imaginative. <laughs> there you go. Very good. Now, let's see. Vanessa, let's read the first example using such. It is such a, crea a creative program. A creative program. Si ven, ya aquí llevamos el, H, el, el article, en este caso, A, y tenemos un noun, program. Ah, pero tenemos un adjective acá, right? There you go. Eric, let's read the second example. It is such a significant investment. Okay, very good. Carla, let's read number three. The report was such a uh, useful, useful before. Okay, very good. And we got the last one, Ana Maria. The last product was such a big success. Ah, a big success. There you go. All right. Well, we got an exit. There you go. Now. Let's do this as the last part, okay? Vamos a hacer esto como ya para finalizar la clase. Okay, it says, listen, complete the sentences with so or such, then compare with a partner. We're gonna do that later on. Vamos a hacer el número uno, okay? Luego ustedes me van a ayudar con el dos hasta el seis. Dice, number one, it is good to know the cash flow. They are, they are what? Such. Such important? So. So it's important. So? Yeah, it is so. So. There you go. So important. ¿Por qué so? Ah, porque si ven ahí, no llevamos ningún article, no llevamos a, no llevamos n ok y aparte de aparte, listen, recuerden que después del adjetivo que describe, ah, tenemos que llevar un noun, tenemos que llevar un nombre cuando usamos such ok, let's do the other ones, hagamos los demás y me hacen saber cuando terminemos please, let me know when you finish right Paris Internet access this. So, what the hell? all the inventions we create are such popular. The computer was. Such. Say, so popular. Let me know when you finish. Perfect, Jonathan. All right, just let me know when you finish. Let's remember, you just write down such or so. Done. Done, perfect. Thank you, Jorge. We're gonna finish, uh, we're gonna let the rest of finish.
Do you finish, Sara? Finish, teacher. Perfect. Ah, Sara, by the way, uh, today I want you to stay uh, for the 10 minutes feedback after the class, okay? Okay, teacher. There you go. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Okay, let's continue with the number two. Uh, Helmer, help me out with number two, please. Read the sentence and include if it is so or such. So, um, is so, the architect is so attractive in woman. So. 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 Okay. Para los demás, do you agree with Hilmar? ¿Están de acuerdo con Hilmar en que es so? No. Oh, the such. architect such. is so a creative woman. Such. 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 Yes. In this case, Hilmar, en este caso, Hilmar, sería such. ¿Por qué okay. es fácil de identificar? Ah, porque sí, llevamos sí, un sí. article al fin, después del, de la palabra, right? Llevamos a. Sí, Exacto. Llevamos a, luego un adjective y después del adjective lleva un noun, algo extra. Aquí en este caso, ok, en, cuando usamos so, no lo lleva. Ok, Thank There you go. Very good. So we got such. Okay, very good. Ana Maria, let's read number three, please. Uh, wireless internet access is so convenient. 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 Hey, ¿por qué me suena tanto ese ejemplo? Hmm. Hmm. Me suena tanto a alguien que me dio un ejemplo, sí. Ha, ha, ha. Just say it, right? No sé por qué. A lo mejor es como un déjà vu. Ha, ha. Yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. There you go. Uh, na, 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 na. Let's see. Eric, let's read the next one. On the invention we create are so popular. Are so popular. Todos tienen so. Is that correct for you people? Very good. Yeah. Yes. So popular. Very good. Jonathan, let's read number five. Such. Ah, Jonathan, fíjese que casi no la escucho muy bien, no sé, como que eh, el sonido está bien, bien raro, como, como entrecortado o algo así. The computer Ajá. Was, was such a significant, 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 significant invention. Ah, ok. The computer was such a significant invention. Ok, very good. Let's remember, tenemos such porque luego tenemos un article que en este caso es a, y luego significant, que es un adjective, y luego invention, que esa es un noun, right? Un noun. Natalie, let's read the last one. Checking your financial statement. statement. Financial statement, ajá. Uh -huh. Was such difficult before? You got such. This one? 
This one, Natalie? Sí, ese puse, teacher. Second, your financial statement was such difficult before. Is, is she correct, people? So. 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 Yeah, Natalie. En este caso acá, sería so. Ok, teacher. Yes, porque acá, después de, de si acá tuviéramos such, Acá por lo menos tuviéramos un, uh, un article, ya sea A o N. Y después del, del, del adjective difficult, tendríamos como un noun, right? Para saber de qué estábamos en realmen, realmente hablando o, o dando eh, un realce en ese caso. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Very good. There you go, Natalie. Very good. All right, people. So, in here, before moving on or before finishing the class, Do we have any question with this with these words? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a so and such? Any question that you might have? Or do we really understood this topic? Did we understood this topic? Did we understand this topic? Podemos comprender cuando usar such, cuando usar so en una oración? That's what it really matters to me. ¿Comprendimos cómo hacerlo? Let it be. <laughs> There you go. Ever. Ok, Eric. ¿Cómo you, Eric? Soso. -so. Ah, ¿cómo que soso, -so, Eric? El sueño me puede más ahorita, ticha. Ajá, ajá. La vacuna no, lo sí. dejo así, la vacuna lo dejo así. <laughs> ah, ok, ok. I'll buy that one. Fátima, Hilmer. Eh, creo Man. que solo para, para terminar de aclarar mi, mi, mi... Ajá, ajá. Such se utiliza cuando lleva la letra A o A, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y después de, y después de, la, de cualquier adjetivo, llevamos un nombre. Ah, ok. En este caso... Por ejemplo, el número dos que me toca a mí, que decía el arquitecto. Ajá. Okay. Exactly. En ese caso llevamos el adjetivo, que es creative, y luego llevamos un noun, que en ese caso sería la palabra woman. Ok. Muy bien, así ya comprendí. Very good. Gracias. All right, people. Let's remember, if you have any questions, just let me know, ok? And also, if you are doing the homework, ok, in the platform, and you don't know... Uh, something, just let me know too, all right? Through WhatsApp, and we can clarify any idea that you might have, okay? Let's remember, people, that this is class 17. Three more classes, and we finish the module, okay? By Thursday, by Thursday, you have to finish everything in the platform, okay? Ya prácticamente para el día jueves tenemos que tener todo terminado para lo de la plataforma. Uh, eso incluye, recuerden, incluye que el jueves vamos a hacer el examen final de la plataforma. Ok. We're going to do the final exam. Vamos a hacer el examen final y a modo de recordatorio antes de, uh, antes de, uh, de que nos retiremos. Eh, recuerden, para mañana, para el día de mañana, ustedes van a recibir el link de la encuesta de satisfacción. Por favor. No la hagan, ok, solos. Lo vamos, eso lo vamos a hacer el jueves, el último día de clase, acá en clase, tal y como lo hemos hecho antes, ok. Lo digo en español para que pues lo podamos entender de mejor manera, ok. A lo mejor y, y si lo digo en inglés, ah, no, es que el teacher no explicó, el teacher no lo dijo, ¿verdad? Right? Y no, no, no le entendí el teacher, por eso fue, ¿verdad? No, right? Nada, Así, a menos, a menos que estemos dormidos, es como, como ciertos por ahí que no me contestaron cuando les pregunté, a lo mejor, ¿verdad? Use. Ajá, pero, pero no, right? Entonces, les doy. Mañana, si la reciben, por favor, en el grupo de WhatsApp, solo mándenme un mensajito. Teacher, recibe la encuesta de satisfacción. That's it, ¿ok? Deal. There you go, people. Bien, voy a pasar asistencia entonces. Before, Solo eh, para, mejorar eh. la, para mejorar la calidad de, del, del aprendizaje. 
deberíamos terminar viernes y así el miércoles ver el partido tranquilo de México. <risa> no, hombre, nos van a robar otra vez, ahí va a ver. Es la, la yesterday's match. Ah, got pissed. But anyways, let's see. Ana Claribel didn't show up today. Ana María. I'm here. Who? Carlos is not here. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Eric, let's see. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Very good. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Nice. Uh, Omar Cruz. Present. Okay. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan, are you there? Present. Ah, okay, Jonathan. There you go. Ah, uh, Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay, Carla Benazir. Present. Very good. Margot Hernandez. Margot. Okay. Okay, very good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, Romeo Alexis. Where is Romeo? Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Ah, come on. He's not here. He didn't say present. Rosa de Carmen. Rosa. Rosa, Rosa. Okay, I think she fell asleep. Ruth, Joanna. Yes. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ah, ¿quién me estaba hablando? I'm here, teacher. Ah, 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 yeah, mi Maritza. You got it, Maritza. Ya está con el chequecito, Maritza. That's why okay. I, I, I just put it like that. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Let's remember, Sara, we're going to stay, okay, after class. Ah, uh, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay. Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay, very good. William Alberto. I mean, William was working, so that's why he got in. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Zulema didn't show up. Jennifer Noemi didn't show up. And Diana Gabriela didn't show up. Okay, there you go. So, people, so that's it for today then. Uh, let's remember, try to do on time the homework. So, in that case, uh, en ese caso, así para no estarlos molestando el último día, right? Hagan la tarea uh, correspondiente a este día. Okay, y nos vemos mañana entonces, okay? Bye bye, people. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Ever. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ever. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, people. I mean, just Ross is here, but Ross, is, I think Ross is sleeping. He missed it. Okay, Sara. Hi, Sara. Uh, vamos a tener 10 minutos, Sara, uh, like always, okay? Just to clarify any question, any idea that you might have from the previous topics and these topics. Simplemente para aclarar cualquier duda que tengamos de los temas pasados y estos temas, Sara. All right. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. La, la clase del viernes. Estoy perdida. <laughs> la clase del viernes. What's up with that class? Uh, ok, básicamente lo que hicimos esa en esa clase eh, fue, digamos, hablar sobre vocabulario. Ok, eh, estuvimos eh, compartiendo cierto vocabulario relacionado a accounting. Ok, esto fue básicamente lo que estuvimos a... Uh, let me see. I think it's this one. Yes. yes. Básicamente estuvimos dando o practicando este vocabulario y luego estuvimos eh, practicando una conversación. Ok. Check this out. 
these are like the, the vocabulary words that we were uh, practicing. Okay. For example, la primera, a check bonuses. A check bonuses son aquellos bonos que usted le dan, a, a, you know, like on paper, a check. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, that is like uh, owned by a company. Luego, transferring money. What do you think is transferring money, Sara? Transferencia. Okay, there you go. Like, you know, like transfer money from one account to another account. Luego estábamos hablando sobre canceling an account. What is that, Sara? Una cancelación. Okay, very good. Es básicamente cancelar una cuenta. Okay. Uh, generally in the bank, you know. Okay. Luego después de canceling an account teníamos cashing a check. What do you think is cash in a check? There you go. It's like when you have a check, you go to the bank and you get the money, right? The cash. Very good. Uh, canceling a check. Pago. All right. Like canceling a check puede ser interpretado de diferentes formas. Una de ellas es, por ejemplo, que su jefe le da un cheque y luego se arrepiente de haberse lo dado. Like, y lo cancela, right? Canceling a check, that's another one. Or another one is like, ah, cuando se le da un cheque a alguien, right? That's canceling, right? A payment, okay? Now, using the ATM, what is that? ATM. ¿Sabe qué es un ATM, eh, Sara? Como un cajero. Hola. Un cajero. There you go. Básicamente, an ATM, esas son las, sigl las siglas de cajero automático, right? ATM. Que básicamente, ATM significa Automatic Teller Machine. Esa sería la, 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 la forma completa de ese, de ese now, right? De esas siglas. Automatic Teller Machine. There you go. And then we got another one. Teníamos lo siguiente. The car gets declined. Decline. Decline. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, it's, it's basically, Sara, when you go to buy something with your credit card or your debit card, and you pass it, and you pass it, and it doesn't have money. Okay. It's okay. Que lo rechaza. Ah, there you go. Basically, it's that. Okay. La tarjeta es rechazada. There you go. Como cuando vamos a comprar algo con tarjeta y la tarjeta es rechazada. Okay. There you go. The car gets declined. Yeah, that usually happens. And then we got the last one. Paying fees. All right. Paying fees puede ser interpretado de diferentes formas. Paying fees puede ser pagar una multa o pagar multas. Ok. Paying fees puede ser también pagar una cuota o pagar cuotas. Ok. Y también puede ser pagar tarifas. Tarifas. Exactly, como pagar tarifas de algo. Ok, that's paying fees. Bien, luego de eso, pues lo que estuvimos haciendo fue practicar, practicar cierto vocabulario que teníamos acá. Ok, pero practicar en, ya en una conversación. Esto era lo que eh, todavía eh, en esa clase estuvieron haciendo algunos de sus compañeros. Right? Just practicing the short conversation. Digamos, practicar esta conversación corta. Okay. Eso es básicamente lo que estuvimos haciendo en la clase pasada, okay. la clase del viernes. Bien. Ah, pero me gustaría que, ya que no estuvo en esa clase, all right, like fully, podamos practicar un poco esta conversación. Vamos a darle a que sea una leída, ¿ok? okay. Bien. Yo voy a hacer A, usted va a hacer B. Dice, may I help you with something? I would like to transfer some money. 
Someone? Some money. Okay, very good. There you go. Where would you like to transfer uh, money from? Take it from my savings account. Okay. Where would you like the money transferred? I want to transfer it into my checking account. Okay. How much would you like to transfer? I be I I would like to transfer. Uh, Aha, to transfer two hundred dollars. Two two hundred dollars. Dollars. Okay. I would like to transfer two hundred dollars. Okay, very good. Uh, will that be all today? That's it for today. Today, thank you. Okay, good. De toda esta conversación, ¿hay alguna palabra, Sara, que no comprendamos bien? Creo que no, Tiche, porque es lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Exacto, esto es lo, lo que vimos al principio. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok, Sara, visa es this one. Eh, ¿Hay algo más en lo que realmente tengamos alguna duda? Mm, pues por el momento no, eso tenía. Ah, ah muy bien. Eh, Ajá, ¿cómo vamos con las tareas? Al día, <risa> al día. ¿Al día? Al día. Ah, ok. Ya se le extraña bien. Ya se le extrañaba en clases. Lo que pasa es que para nosotros ya es como previo a la temporada. Uh -huh. Entonces ya como que los clientes ya empiezan a sacar las cotizaciones, piden más, entonces se, se nos hace más difícil salir más temprano. Uh -huh. Y ya salgo, porque como están preparando, qué graduaciones, qué bodas. O sea, uh. Entonces ya eso se nos hace más. Y aparte ah. de el tráfico a mí bajando los chorros. Ah. Y todavía pasa el tráfico de los urdes y ahora el tráfico de ateos. Entonces ya se me... Solo el viernes que me, me pasó casi a, a las nueve he venido a la casa. Pues, Hace tres horas sentada como que viajar a San Salvador, a San Miguel. Pues... That's difficult. Sí, le toca bien complicado. La suele de hacer cosas. Entonces, ah. sí, ahorita sí ya se me hace difícil porque la temporada es por ya. Ajá. Ya este mes. Ah, bueno. Sí, me lo imagino. But anyways, the good thing is that you are like on track, you're keeping practicing and you are doing the homework in the platform. That's a good thing. Okay. Bien, ya sabe que cualquier duda uh, que tenga con relación a las tareas, igual, ahí vamos a estar siempre en, en el chat de WhatsApp por cualquier, eh, cualquier duda que pueda tener, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, thank Muy you, bien, teacher. Sara, entonces nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? En el video conference. Bye, bye, Sara. Okay, bye. Ok, bye.